What's going on YouTube? It's Donnie B all day. I'm bringing you another knife that was uh, knife by request. Somebody, actually a couple people had asked me to do this blade. So I finally, uh, I'm finally going to be bringing it to you. This is the Condor Undertaker Bowie. I, it's in the sheath and sitting there because I need the sheath to stretch out. The only, and I mean only issue I've had with any Condor buoy type knife so far that moonshiner you saw um is that the sheaths come extremely tight so it does need to be stretched out but man does that smell good oh it's fresh from the cow mm, i can hear that bell ringing on his neck right now hello bessie um but yeah with the with that moonshiner buoy if you remember it took me a while to realize that the knife actually went all the way into that sheath oh, um it was tight. And this one, this is tight. Once you loosen them up, however, though, and start wearing them out, uh, or wearing them in, I should say, uh, they perform well. They're good, good sheets. It's a really good leather. They just make them extremely tight. Now, looking at these beautiful walnut grips and, and brass pins, you will see one hell of a buoy. True full tank instruction. Um, it says... On the thing that it was like a 16th thick but I don't believe that I think that was a misprint on um, this thing I was looking at because it's pretty fat um, let's see we are looking at almost a quarter this is three sixteenths um, not one sixteenth I think there was a misprint on what I was looking at um, but holy mackerel Look at this freaking buoy. These are made in El Salvador. And while the blade is good and the leather is quality, that's where you're getting your money's worth. You are not getting your money's worth in fit and finish. You see that little grind spot right there, how it goes up? Looks like I made it right there. Um, it's just a little off. It's not 100% perfectly ground, um, but it's pretty damn close. Everywhere else it looks great. Um, it is a hollow grind, but it's not an ultra thin hollow grind. So I do have confidence with this as a chopper. I don't think I'm going to be warping or wanking this blade out anytime soon. We will find out. Now, as soon as it came in, I, I had to check it because it's Condor. And uh, one thing I know about Condor is... <laughs> Whoa, I just dropped it all. They sell some mighty, mighty sharp knives. I mean... Whew. Talk about shave sharp. This thing, I could literally smooth my whole body with this, right? And change my name to Gregory. Um, but it is sweet. You got that classic tombstone style grip. Um, let's see, I have it written down over here. It is 15 and a half inches overall. And you are looking at 1075 steel. I knew that part already. They're calling this machete style, but we know it's a buoy. Um, it says the the grind is a flat grind. No, that is not a flat grind. I don't know who the hell wrote this, but it wasn't from Condor. I'm not on their site. Uh, I'm looking for the bl oh, blade length. It says 10.125, so about 10 and a quarter. Um, and let's get rid of all that. We don't really need anything else from there. Um, that's it right there. This thing's got a beautiful swedge. The swedge is nice and full. Um... It's got a good handguard on it. It's all stainless in the handguard. Uh, this isn't so bad, man. This isn't so bad. The Undertaker buoy in hand is pretty devastating. That is pretty devastating. Look at the belly. Here's your start right here from your Ricasso, right? The little bevel right there. Normally, it'll go across and maybe have a little... This thing starts going down from there. Look at that. That is insane. Normally, it'll go straight and then down. You know what I mean? You have this this type thing uh-uh not these guys these guys are all knife belly and when you see that that tells you one thing this thing is made to chop um and that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go outside with it and we are going to chop and uh, i have some uh pretty great confidence in this el salvadorian blade that we are going to be able to go through wood like no bodies freaking business so let's uh let's go get it All right, got a nice close-up of my, my schnoz in there. All right, so let's uh, 
Let's start out with a little water bottle. That's going to be difficult because the water bottle is crushed in the bottom. It's not stationed very well. <sighs> Swing away. Sharp. I mean, that's whisper sharp. That's sharp. That is so sharp. Let's keep going. Ah, uh, I'll tell you what. Today is February 5th, and it is a beautiful day here in Massachusetts. The Patriots just won the Super Bowl, and oh my God, I can barely get it out of here. And we are looking at over 60 degrees of pure sunshine. <laughs> Man, this is gorgeous weather. All right, so let's do some uh, straight drops, and oh crap, I dropped it. Here's one thing I got to say. This grip is slick. That's why there's a big, fat lanyard hole on there. This is a slick grip. I was just getting ready to drop it and it just fell out of my fell out of my fingers. That's what it was supposed to. Did you hear the thud that lands with? Ugh, it's nice and it, it gets stuck in there. Let's do it again. That is just solid. Let's do a couple of, uh, golly, I can barely get it out. Let's do a couple of hard downward throws and we'll see how these scales are on there. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't get it off. This thing is still frozen to the ground so it's not lifting up because I have to work extra hard to get this blade out okay well you get it so any tip damage no no problems there do a little prying a little wiggle room in there see if this tip is gonna hold up pretty well and I had it in there pretty deep as a matter of fact it was that deep when I was doing prying and uh, there is zero zero deviation this thing is on there so let's try and do a, um, a straight push oh my gosh no problem hard nylon rope easy money I know I have a piece of uh, vacuum cleaner hose left over here I saw it there we go I knew I had a piece over there let's see let's see if I can do this without cutting off my finger Oh my goodness. So let's take this vacuum cleaner hose and we'll go one push, two push, three push, four push. I could do this all day. It's like it's turning into a Dr. Seuss book. Holy moly, 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 holy. All right, so, um, so what do I know about this thing is it comes freaking sharp. Sharp as hell. I wish... There was a little bit of texture on here or just a little bit of forming or maybe even the end of the tombstone if it has a, a better sweep because it is just moving it like this back and forth. You can feel it sliding in the hand. Not taking anything away from the knife though. So far, so great. Let's keep rolling with it. And a roll we shall do. So let's do some kitchen prep here. Normally I use like twigs. Thin, thin sticks for this kind of thing not this not this guy right here that is awesome so I have this piece right here it's a big big piece um, that's huge actually so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and see how quick we can get through this guy right here and uh, so far just swinging through the wrist this is a uh, devastating chopper. You guys know I made my uh, my D-Bad custom Old West buoy. I'm gonna have to put it against this because this is a really, really good chopping knife. And, uh, but I found nothing so far to chop like the one I built. And uh, this thing so far is straight up competitor. Straight up competitor as far as chopping. Holy moly. I do have tomorrow the 2019 uh, Cold Steel Wild West buoy shall be coming in. So I'll be doing that one soon. And uh, that's going to add another piece to the buoy chopper challenge that we are going to have a whole lot of fun with seeing which one is better because that thing I'm truly excited to get. And I should be one of the first people on the web to review it because it hasn't been reviewed yet. So, and you know how when they do reviews, 
it's going to end up being some fucking, oh, sorry, some fucking box opening or something, you know, some cheesy, crappy, oh, looky what it is, this is the Wild West. No, we're going to open it. And uh, I'll tell you what, if it chops half as good as this thing, woo, so this condor is a meat eater. Oh my goodness, this thing is a chopper. I'm gonna call that a success. Look at, look at that. Is that five inches there? Bam! So, I don't know what the handle is, about five inches. So, that's about a five inch log. And that thing just, I mean, took it apart. Let's see. Let's see here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's go right through the knots. All those big burly knots. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is beautiful. Make sure the dogs are both around. All right. So let's see. Golly. Paper thin shavings. Let's see, let's see. Let's see if we can keep it all together here. Wow. Wow. You ever feather stick the log while it's still attached? Look at these. Look at these. Paper. Look at these. Look at these. So let's see. Let's see about making just a straight up notch on a log that's still attached to the tree. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, I'd say that's pretty good. I'd say that is pretty, gotta be all day good, even better than gotta be all day. I can't make anything this nice. Um, I'll tell you what. Let's see, this is a big fat one. Still got some remaining snow left on it. Let's knock down all this ice. Let's uh, take off the end over here. Holy crap, that was fast. Um, I, I don't think I've ever used a knife that shaved a point that fast. That was really, really fast. All right, let's put it in my little notch and see what happens with one big swing. Look at this. Look at this. It split it, just split it through. Devastating, devastating. Let's see here. I don't have a baton. I think I, my last knife, I, <laughs> I chopped my baton. So uh, let's see what we can get here. Let's see what we can get here. Let's get it on there. Uh-oh. All right, Slick Rick, I think I need to make a baton. This one's too skinny and too light, but who knows? Maybe it's better than nothing. All right, let's see. <laughs> Such easy work. This thing is so easy to work. Yeah, there's not a lot of weight in this baton, so I don't know if it's gonna work, but... <laughs> well, the swedge works. Oh yeah, it's gonna work. It's gonna work. It takes a little while. It would be a lot less time if I had an actual <laughs> baton. But you see what's happening here. Let's see. Split. <clears throat> Making kindling. Split. Just no problem. Guys, I'm calling it. I mean, I'm calling it. This is a beast. And one thing I have to say about chopping pine is it gets your hands pretty nasty. I don't know where my dogs are. Hey! Get up here! I said get up here, even though I don't know if they're down here. Okay, I see them. So, one thing about chopping pine is, holy mackerel, the grip it adds... It's really nice. So all that I was worried about, about the grip, just changed by adding a little tack. 
and there's some there's some stuff you get a lot of baseball people use it that you spray inside your um, baseball glove it's it's a glove tack and uh, tack it and um, what you do is you spray it on and it gives you a tacky feel so it helps you stick and uh, doing something like that on something like this might be pretty good bam y'all seen that right oh my gosh so now check this out don't even need to be that precise because look at that you need to make a, a freaking cabin a little log home check that out I could get all the way through this thing just by doing that look at this two flat pieces boom put them together you got yourself a building gosh <laughs> all right so condor you made an undertaker buoy you didn't just make it but you made it right the thing is awesome let's check this edge oh my gosh it's flawless it's flawless with pine let's see <laughs> with with pine after banging around and it is still shave sharp shave sharp you can't i mean we went down we went through we went across we went into we chopped we batoned shave sharp I'm telling you guys if you are in the market for a serious buoy and you don't want to spend a hundred bucks and you can get this thing all day in the eighty dollar range all day which is i'm talking great price that's a great price for a knife like this um whew, oh man i love having that pine that pine stuck in my hand this was a dangerous thing earlier because it would just slide out of my hand oh my gosh you know what? i gotta toss it we gotta toss it let's go man that was so weird I pressed play and the image of me before pressing play was frozen on the screen. That was kind of weird. All right, we're gonna throw it from here and I'm not gonna worry about hitting a nail because I, I don't usually throw it at this because of the nails. Um, I'm not worried about that because I think this will do more damage to a nail than a nail will do to it. Let's see. Oh, I hit the tip, hit the tip. I threw it like a little sissy girl. I hit right there, throw it a little harder. <laughs> well that one hit the tip too very straight the problem is it just cracked it and sprung back all right let me see if i can't get it away from that center yes i can yes i can oh, tell you man tell you man that's a knife that is a knife it's a knife this thing is uh this thing's pretty great. Let's get some of that sap off of there. Let's get some of that sap off. I'm gonna have to take it in and that Moz uh that Moz metal polish I use, guys. I did a video on it. Stuff works great. Um when you have sap on the blade, the Moz metal polish, some for some reason, literally wipes sap right off the blade. It's incredible. Um don't know how it how it does it. I don't I'm not sponsored by Moz or anything like that, so it's not my job to tell you. Um but it really is. It, it's just awesome. That's just from one guy, knife guy to another. Um, Moz Metal Polish um, will help you get rid of pine uh, stuff and, and all that crap. So um, pretty damn good. But that's it. Let's, uh, let's take it to the rack. We haven't done that in a while. All right. So here we have it. The Undertaker buoy by, uh, by Condor in all its glory. Um, awesome. Awesome. There's, there's nothing I can say to make you not think twice about buying this. There's nothing. It is just wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. You can always add a lanyard to keep it from being slippery, or you can just get some pine tar and put it on there and never take it off. Um, or even just wear a glove that, that helps hold on to things. I'm not that guy. Um, I'm gonna use it just like this. Um, and the only other thing is, you know, wear in your sheath. Put it in the sheath and let it stretch. Do that, do that, do that. Because the sheath is going to come tight. You're not going to be able to snap it at first. You're really going to have to pull the damn strap across. But once it stretches out, the sheaths are great. If you've seen my Moonshiner review, the very first review I did on it, I was absolutely 
torn by the fact that the knife didn't fit in the sheath, and I thought that's just the way it came. It took me a while before I realized, oh wait, you just gotta really, really push it in. I mean, it was tight, and that's how this one is. It's tight, but um, stretch it out, it'll be perfect. Um, the Condor, Condor, Undertaker, buoy. Holy crap. There's not much more I can tell you. I mean, this this right here, this view, this shot says it all. The thing is bad, man. You've seen it chop. And uh, I can't wait to add it to my chop videos and my, my list of chopping knives and really, really compare it to some of my greats because this is now one of the some of the greats. Um, this thing is just amazing amazing knife condor great job golf clap um gotta say um i love it i know you guys will there's a lot of knife guys here on my channel that have very good taste and understanding on what makes a knife a good knife and you guys can can easily see will easily see um or have the ability to easily see that this thing is truly a great knife so that's it for me today i'm gonna go enjoy the sunshine i'm donnie b all day until next knife